we're going to make sauces. So, the very first thing we're going to do is get our handy dandy little gizmo going. Easiest sauce of all time, but also one of the most delicious. I'm going to use a wooden spoon today to stir my sauce because that feels somewhat like rustic and Italian to use like, you know, your grandma's big wooden spoon that she might chase you around the kitchen with, but you know, if you're misbehaving. You're just going to put a little olive oil in your pan. This is a straight up olive oil, lemon, garlic, and a little bit of chopped tomato sauce. So olive oil, okay? So cut a couple halves of lemon, and I'll show you how to avoid the seeds if there are any. We'll hold that till last. Garlic, we're gonna chop a couple garlic cloves. I'm gonna do this really fast so that we can get, get the next sauce in, which is really nice. You take your garlic, Smash it, knife against, can you see this? Knife against the board, fist, smash. Garlic's in between the knife and the board. Fist, smash. The knife has to be flat. Flat knife, fist, smash. Whoa. Okay, don't do that. Where did it go? I lost one. Anyways, okay, get another one. <laughs> okay, let's move these out of the way. Fist. Smash. Okay, that way that releases the oils and then it makes it breaks up the skin so it's easy to get the skin off. Cut your ends off. Remember to cut your end, the hard ends of your garlic off, the nub, cut that off. You do not want that in your, in your mixture, it's too hard. Chop off any bad spots like the one I showed you. Come right off. That garlic is still fine. More than half of that garlic is fine. Throw everything away. One more end. And then you're gonna mill it. So how we mill garlic is we just do a couple chops like this. Wash your fingers, keep your fingers away. Okay, and then, okay. Watch this action. You hold your knife like this. Remember, firm grip, not one of these. Firm grip, okay? You're gonna hold down your knife with one hand like this, and this one's gonna chop like this. It's called milling, okay? You just go like this, as if you were a machine. You go in little half circles. This is how I do parsley. This is how I, like any like loose, small greens. Just a very nice thing, easy thing to do. So you get a nice rough chop. You don't need this to be super fine, or you can make it as fine as you like. What we're trying to do is increase the surface area of every little nugget of garlic so that it adds more flavor to the oil. Scrape that right into the, the pan. I actually should have put my knife over to scrape it. You don't want to use your sharp blade to scrape anything that might still be living on your, on your cutting board. Okay, then a little bit of sweet tomatoes. Just your basic little tomato, any tomato that you like, grape tomatoes, whatever. And I'm going to take a couple tomatoes. These are cleaned. Cut off any bad spots I see. I see a little bad spot. So here's the thing. Tomato. You need a sharp knife to cut a tomato. Tomatoes aren't real hard or anything, but because they're so gentle, skin, thin skinned, and gentle, you need a knife that's just going to slice right through that without damaging the vegetable. Okay, so all we're going to do is do a couple rough chops of this tomato so we can get all that juice in there. You don't have to use a full kitchen knife for a tomato. You can use a little tiny knife, like a little steak knife for a tomato. Or you can even use a serrated blade if you don't have a sharp kitchen knife because you can just sort of saw through it like this. Just sawing through that knife. Steak knife? Yeah, this is a, a steak knife. All right, so we're gonna take this tomato, add it to our mixture. Boom, all right, good. Now we're gonna go on to the next part of this. Turn on our, our heat. And get that sizzling up. Now just take a few minutes 
while that is going to sizzle up, tomato, garlic, olive oil. We're going to add our lemon, squeeze our lemon into it. Here's how you avoid getting seeds. You take your lemon half, put your hand underneath. Your hands are your best tools ever, okay? Your hand's gonna catch the juice first, and you, it's gonna pass through your fingers. Can you see that? You do not want, and then it'll also catch the seeds. It's like your hand is now a strainer. And you use all your muscles. See how strong my hands are? That's from working clay, because I'm a potter. I don't know if I ever told you guys that, but I, I, I am a potter, and I work clay my whole life. So my hands are really strong. So there, I didn't have any seeds in that lemon. All right, and also lemon lemon juice is good for your skin. Okay, so all these are natural ingredients. Nothing processed here. Well, the olive oil was processed, you know, but tomatoes and garlic and lemon were not. Simple, basic ingredients for Italian food. And they taste fresh. Always have a towel ready tap your hands dry clean towel okay and then we just let this sizzle up a little bit now while that's sizzling up believe it or not when you were if you were to put pasta right into this freshly cooked pasta you're good to go you can add a little salt and pepper to this if you like that's all you need okay after this sizzles up for a bit i'm going to put it into a little jar so we can store it until the pasta is done and move on to the next sauce so I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to move it closer so you can. Can you see that? I wish you could smell this, okay? It just smells wonderful. And you can make this, guys. You can make this. This is better than going to McDonald's, all right? This is gonna taste better. It's, gonna, it's affordable. It's not expensive. Okay, this right here, I mean, I, it's, not, it's just not expensive. You can get all the ingredients to make like five or six meals for probably under $20. Okay, so that's good enough. We're just gonna let that, we're gonna let our garlic be a little um, sharp right now. So that means we're not gonna cook it all the way down so that it's gonna have a little bit of hotness to it. You know, if you've ever eaten a raw garlic versus an all the way cooked down garlic, there's a little bit of hotness. And also, the um, heat that retains from the in the bowl will continue cooking the garlic a little bit. So, you, so we're going to stop this, and very, Tara is going to very carefully get this juice into this little tiny bowl with the help of her wooden spoon. Sorry if I'm blocking the shot, but I'm just trying to get this done so we can get to our next one, which I'm very excited about, if you can tell. Okay. Good, 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 good. We did it. All right, so taking care, I'm going to use my towel here and just hit the top of my stove and the side of my pan you don't want. If you, if you have stuff on the side of your pan and you put it back on the heat, it's gonna like heat up and kind of, kind of like harden. So you want that not to happen. So you just, as clean as you go, you just give things a little wipe here and there. It's gonna help you in the end. Brown butter. So brown butter literally means brown butter. So you're gonna put butter in a pan and heat it up and it's gonna turn a little brown. You don't want it to be dark brown, you don't want it to be not brown, you want it to be just a little bit brown. So what I'm gonna do, is, what they have here is a package of sage. Well, I'll just show you the sage actually, there you go. You can buy this in little containers, you can, you, we, we grow it on the side of our house. It's a fuzzy little leaf plant that feels very soft. It smells so good. This is what you, it's always in turkey stuffing. Thanksgiving meals, sage is delicious. So what I'm doing is I'm just picking my sage. You can also pop your sage, which means you can fry it in oil and it's really tasty. So I'm gonna put some sage in there. While, my, while I'm doing that, let's save time, we're gonna pop a whole stick of butter in there. 
So how much is a whole stick of butter? Eight tablespoons. And eight tablespoons means a half cup, okay? So if they say a cup or a quarter cup, you can actually take a stick of butter and cut it in half, okay? So I'm just gonna toss it in there. I've got some paper in there, out you go. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Take my sage, just with my fingertips. Just taking it right off the thing. You don't want that big woodsy stock in there. You don't want that big woodsy stock in there. But some people, if you're cooking like a steak or something more rustic, you can actually take this. I will do this after. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take this whole. I'm going to take this whole thing that's left over after I've picked it. And I'm just going to put it right in the pan. Okay. And that'll add a little extra flavor too. I'm going to add some eggplant and some Parmesan. Okay. So this is eggplant right here. And if you've ever roasted eggplant or cooked with eggplant, it's a beautiful thing. And then when you open it up, like I'm doing here, this one has very little seeds in it. All right, so I'm just gonna chop a little bit of eggplant and add it to this, just to make it a little more body to it. But you can add whatever you want, okay? You, eggplant is fun. You can just make little dices. I'm sorry, I'm rushing through this to get it in the pan. So basically, just little dices of eggplant. We're gonna sprinkle it in the pan. Um, that means little squares. When I say dice, that means you cut it into little tiny squares. So you'll make slices, and then you'll cut those slices into thinner, smaller pieces. So that's my brown butter. Believe it or not, we're gonna shut that off because it is done doesn't take long for these simple sauces. That butter is brown, but it's not too brown. And we're gonna to toss this right into another glass bowl. I'll show you that so we can toss that with our pasta. 